This is me <laughs> in real life. I, the same. As you see me online and in real life, it's also the same way. Um, yeah. Where, where do you stay? Okay, you said Munich, I, right? Yeah, Munich. I'm in Munich. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. Berlin. Have you been living there all the time? Like, I moved to Munich. That was early this year, around uh, after uh, around March. Okay. Close to the period when they declared the, 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 the total lockdown. lockdown. Okay. Yeah, that was when I moved to Munich. Wow. And where were you before then? Uh, where my school? My school is in Fakirshen, still in Bavaria. Ah, okay. So you've always been down there. Uh, yeah, I've been there. So just after my exams, I decided to move down to Munich to hunt for the job, yeah. <laughs> for jobs. <laughs> So that was all brought me here, and Corona came and uh, made everything online. So there was there was no need, no need for me going back. I yeah. just decided to stay back and uh, keep keep on uh, keep on growing and building the career as uh, while studying online. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, you're through with your studies, right? Your regular uni studies? Mm, not, not really. I would say almost. Now I'm okay. supposed to start my thesis. Okay. Yeah. I'm about starting my, I'm supposed to start my thesis right now, but I've not yet started it. I'm still trying to fill on the drawing yeah. board, yeah. But most of the coursework, I'm done with my coursework. Yeah, because I'm wondering if I recall you, you had a couple of interviews before that you told me about. Yeah, it was on a back student. <clears throat> okay, yep. okay, back student. I think in your own case, I thought you were actually through with your studies, like completely through with your studies. and. Like you're applying for normal normal job already because i think in my case this student and back thing i did not do that so i just had like a separate job like a mini job that i was doing while study so for the student and back thing i think it pays more and it's more flexible and it's most likely in line with what you're studying right yeah yeah that that's the good i mean i just like you said, I was doing some other mini job. Yeah. That was the first job I got actually. But I now told myself, is this what I'm going to be doing for oh all, all no way, no way. <laughs> You know how it is, man. You yeah. know how the stress of the job and sometimes you'll be asking yourself, was well, this what I left my country to come and be doing here? But there's dignity in labor anyway. So we keep on doing 100%, it. Yeah. And uh, I was just working on applying, applying got the first shot, they went for interviews and so on. So they, 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 the end goal is actually at least by the time I'm working, getting the experience mm -hmm. and if possible, if they could retain me, that would be better because it will lessen the, the, the whole application journey again to start applying after studies. Okay. So that was just like the main your, plan. I really like your, your style. It's, it's, it's a good one. Because you're already planning for, for the next step well in advance. Mm -hmm. yeah. My case was a really interesting case. I finished my studies. So before I finished, I wasn't sure what to do next. So I was caught between, okay, should I go on for a PhD? Should I apply for a job? Or maybe go for another master's? So I was really caught between these options. You know, I'm, I was so used to the student life. It's like simple, you don't pay so much. Um, just paid a semester fee for six months and then with my mini job it's okay I can cover my house rent and everything small money to just leave mm -hmm. just, just nice that's a good <laughs> yeah. just, just a good space you know there's no need to, to move to the next place and also with so many um, subsidized services that you get as a student it just yeah. makes sense to, to stay in that space so mm -hmm. towards the end I wasn't sure what I wanted to do I started applying reluctantly for PhD positions, like super reluctantly. I was applying because my friends were applying and I thought, okay, maybe <laughs> try and just apply. <laughs> but follow, you know, follow the crowd. <laughs> yeah, but if you're doing something that it's not really from your heart, it's, yeah, it doesn't really work out well, you know. So I was applying also, but super reluctantly. 
and um, I don't I got a few responses back then but I was telling myself what if they took me with am I ready to go to the PhD and really the answer was no for me <laughs> <laughs> so then I moved to Berlin and then I just decided to enroll for German course interesting German course and so while that was going on I started applying for job slowly but steadily and what I noticed there was um, I was applying more for like a research technician or research assistant position, you know, to work in the laboratory. But it was also not really my thing, you know. I was just doing it because I thought, okay, during the course of my studies, I did a lot of laboratory experiments, projects, research stuff. Maybe it just made sense to go on in this field, in this direction. Mm -hmm. um, but what I noticed was that most times when I went for interviews, I, was, I could not really flow as a laboratory technician or as a research scientist or a research assistant. I couldn't okay. flow that like to the expectation models. I was like super reluctant. I wanted something else. So I had this friend of mine who, I think he was also really, really smart. While he was studying, he already started applying for jobs. Something like you as well. I think he also got this student work then and was working within his area of studies. So after his studies, he got a job right away. So he advised me, he was like, hey, what did you, which experience do you have? What have you done before? And I told him that back in Nigeria, I used to work as a medical sales rep and I've been in sales and marketing area. Then he was like, I think that makes sense. So because it's easier for you to relate to the company's problem in the sense that you have the experience before, you can relate to what the mm -hmm. company is going through now, to what you've done before. And, uh, and then I think it's also easier for them to bring you in because you have the experience. But most importantly, that it's something you enjoy mm -hmm. doing, you know? And that really? kind of really clicked for me. And I stopped applying to all these research <laughs> positions and stuff. Then I started applying for positions in sales and then marketing and so on. And uh, it, it took a while anyway before I got the first interview shot. And I think after then, it started going smoothly. What I found out was if I had to I don't know how it works down there in Bavaria, but mostly when you apply, the first step is they'll call you, like have a phone call, talk and something like that, just to get to know you more and tell you about them okay. and what they want to do. So I noticed that when I apply and they call me, it was easy to relate with them, you know, talking about all this sales, marketing thing or business development and stuff. Okay. And I didn't get the first couple of uh, applications, but I felt good because I was getting responses. In the past, okay. nothing, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> yeah, so then I just switched and then, yeah, finally everything worked out well. But the the secret I would always say is, go for what you've, you've done before and what you know you have passion to do. I think I have friends who are like really good in laboratory stuff, they're good with calculation, experiment, blah, 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 and so mm. on. And then there are other guys who are just, they like to talk. <laughs> <laughs> You <laughs> just like to talk, so I think it's big, big, big grammar. Yeah. <laughs> That's grammar, man. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> I just thought, yeah, look for what I what I like to do, what I enjoy doing, and just put my energy there, put my focus there, and I think really work out. Yeah, it worked out well. Oh. <laughs> Sounds nice. Sounds yeah. good. <laughs> Sounds good. How how long have you been working in the space now? In that space. I started working actively since um, two and a half years now. Yeah, about two and a half years now. Yes, since uh, 2018. Yeah, since 2018. Yeah. Before then, I had some other small, small jobs here and there. But I think the main one was one startup company here in Berlin. So it's a biotech company. What's your field? What's your field again? Your area of study? I My bachelor was in microbiology. I also had almost the same same uh, experience like you back in Nigeria. I worked in the lab. Yeah. From there, I moved to medical sales, the medical sales rep. Okay. So yeah, then we have similar experience, yeah. I would say. And <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it resonates. <laughs> so from there, I now moved same same sales, but into like uh, IT, Microsoft, okay. and product. Yeah. Yeah. I now finally came down here. Right now, I'm in. I'm in. A, I'm working with a med tech, medical technology company. Okay. So that's. I want to focus on that that part. 
my I'm I'm studying a medical informatics right now. So okay, medical informatics deals more on the IT digitalization in the healthcare sector. Yeah, yeah. So I'm trying to focus on the medical diagnostic aspect of it. You know, okay. medtech. Okay, that's interesting. And really, I think in Germany, yeah, they have a lot of things going on in that space, in the medical technology space. Yeah, so many things going on there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And um, so, like, what did you need to to qualify? So, like, the requirement was for you to apply for this study program. It's what a master study then? program, right? Of course, it's a master study program. Master. Okay. okay. So, major requirements, just like any master's program, your previous uh, bachelor. Mm -hmm. If it's in, you know, mostly in Germany, they like consecutive uh, masters, most of them, although if you come from a field that you can actually defend your previous uh, yeah. um, experience and all those things to back it up and mm -hmm. some other certifications you can also fly. So then English, normal English. I was even surprised when they requested for English. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> requested for English was I had I had applied a year before they didn't ask for English so I didn't get it that year so the following year I applied again without English and now noticed that after I had I submitted my application they now said they needed English so I had to start running around <laughs> to write the English they mean like English proficiency yeah all this um, IETL TOEFL yeah. and the PT and the like so yeah, yeah, basically that's just the major thing. Then you have no, to score a specific no bank. No previous experience in IT or something like that. No previous experience. Mm, not really. Not really. Not really. Okay. That is not more of uh, important to them. What is more important is your, your bachelor grade mm -hmm. and your all those uh, requirement things. Like the English, you have to score seven point zero upwards. Yeah. Yeah. So those are the two major things. Then definitely, of course, experience too will count because definitely the pool of applications will be much. So <laughs> if you have mean. such experiences, it's a plus for you. Yeah. So you have to just add everything you have, submit, because yeah. once, the, once the admission committee sits, they will put all those things into consideration if yeah. the numbers are high. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. all those things will now differentiate mm. you. But you know what I'm wondering now in terms of that, that experience, how will then know if someone, I mean, for the experience, how you show this is by what you write in your CV, is that correct? Yeah, yeah. by what you write in your CV. And I also, what I did, I submitted almost all the documents I have, I've acquired in my life. <laughs> like that. I submitted everything. Uh, that was it.